Hello everyone, I am Madhura from madhuratrecipe.com. Today I am making creamy corn and spinach sandwich. This is very very creamy and smooth inside and crispy and crunchy outside. So to start with the process, uh, I am going to add just about a tablespoon of olive oil into a pan. And here I have preheated my pan over medium high heat. That's it. And now we'll go ahead and add in some uh, fresh corn. So uh, these are the fresh corn kernels. So go ahead and add that in. Mix. And I'm gonna saute it for just about four to five minutes. All right, here yeah, this uh, corn looks nice and soft. Now we'll go ahead and add in finely chopped uh, spinach leaves in that. So. Add in as much as more or less and you want your spinach in your sandwich. Even though it looks quite a lot, but uh, these leaves are gonna wilt on as you cook it. So mix that up. That looks fabulous. Now, if you want, you can also make addition of some diced carrot or red bell pepper uh, to make it look even more colorful and. Now we'll go ahead and season this up with some red chili flakes. This is for extra kick. Then I have got here some basil leaves. Oregano. Little bit garlic powder. And of course one paper and salt mix it really good and we'll cook this up for two more minutes And that looks good. You can see that all these uh, spinach leaves are very well cooked. It looks good. Now we'll uh, take this out into separate bowl. So let me just move this stuff around. Take a bowl. And remove all this filling into separate bowl. That looks good. You can see that. And now, uh, in the same pan, I'm gonna take some butter and add in just about a tablespoon of butter in that. And we'll also add about a tablespoon of half all purpose flour or plain flour. Mix that in. And and we'll roast this for just about two to three minutes. And that looks good. Now uh, in this plain flour, we'll go ahead and add in some milk. Mix that up. After everything is well combined and all the lumps are gone, We'll go ahead and season this up with some salt, just a little bit, and of course, some pepper. Mix that up, and we'll let this cook for just about two more minutes. If you want to avoid this uh, step of making white sauce, you can uh, simply make addition of some cheese spread or cream cheese in this uh, vegetable mixture. Now here this uh, white sauce is all ready. I will turn off the power and I am going to take this out into this vegetable bowl. Give this a mix. I am going to mix up this corn and spinach really good with this white sauce. looking really good you can see all this corn and spinach looks nice smooth and creamy 
and now next we'll add in some shredded cheese in that and fold this a cheese good in this vegetable mixture and here our creamy corn and spinach filling is already look at that let me just taste that up Mm. it is fabulous it's called all that different flavors and perfect punch from this chili flakes lovely now mm, here i have this uh, white bread slices you can always use any bread of your choice such as uh, multi-grain bread whole wheat bread and we'll take a tablespoon of this mixture and spread that up We'll close this up with the other slice of bread like so and we'll apply some butter the same way we'll fill up my other bread slices and here I have filled up my sandwiches now next I'm going to toast them or grill them up so here I have preheated my uh, tawa over medium high heat so we'll put, go ahead and put this sandwich with the buttered side down. Let me see if I can fit the other one too. Yep, it fits. Now apply some butter on the top of this bread. And we'll uh, roast this until it gets deep golden color from all the way through. It looks cooked underneath. You can see that nice and golden brown now it's a time to give it a flip so we'll put my spatula underneath the sandwich and turn it on wow look at that and the other one too perfect and allow it to cook from other side as well and both of these sandwiches are very well cooked from both the sides now we'll take them out onto a serving dish look at that and let me just cut them in half so we'll use my pizza cutter I hope you can hear this crust look at that perfect smooth creamy cheesy inside and nice and crispy outside lovely and this creamy corn and spinach sandwich looks fabulous and it tastes great as well if you want different flavor of spices in that you can always make addition of some pav bhaji masala chaat masala coriander powder red chili powder green chilies the list goes on you can't go wrong with this recipe if you like this recipe and if you want to see more from us please visit my website uh, so please remember to subscribe us on our youtube channel or on our website which is www.madurasrecipe.com developing a new taste see you soon bye bye